Good morning, YouTube. First of all, it's currently 5.05 a.m. We've got a 70K ultra marathon to run today. Country to capital is January the 6th. It's the middle of winter and it's about two degrees outside. So I'm gonna run you through quickly what the morning of a race day looks like. I've just woken up, cooking some electrolytes down, food's going in me. I feel like shit, but it's race day. What do you expect? Basically, the rule of thumb when you run an ultra is you can eat whatever you want. Ideally, carbohydrates, they help fuel you. Breakfast, three crumpets of jam. Got a bunch of pancakes too as well. You can eat like a child when it comes to race day. Kind of through the race as well, but you have to keep eating. So the carb load started last night, I had a big pasta pie with my friends. I ate everything in sight. So I'm feeling a bit doughy, a bit heavy, but very fueled up at the moment. Caffeine's going in as well, we've got some coffee. The reason we're up so early is the race isn't in London. It finishes in London, it finishes near Paddington Station. However, it starts at a place called Wendover, which is basically out of London, driving for an hour, and then we run back in. So race starts at 8.45. 5.05 a.m. currently. It's kind of weird to think this is my 10th ultra in the last 18 months and it still feels the same. I still feel like race day nerves, a bit shitty, a bit of anxiety around it and like I'm really happy that that never goes away because the whole purpose of doing this stuff is like it's hard, it's challenging. Like if it became easy, if it became this thing I was like oh really happy and comfortable with, it would lose the edge. And I think the day that I no longer feel a bit uneasy about it is the day that I will stop doing this stuff. But I hope that day never comes because I always feel like this, the same thing, it's nerves, it's pressure, it's excitement, it's a weird little voice inside your head being like, you suck at this, like why are you bothering, what's the point in all of this, and you just kind of got to tell it to fuck off, and that voice doesn't really go away, the more you do this, like when I first ever ran a 5k, that voice was there, when I ran 572k a few months ago, over 11 days, that voice was there every day, this morning the voice is in there being like, you fucking suck, what are you doing, why even bother? That voice doesn't disappear. The only thing that happens is you just get really good at telling to fuck off and knowing how to deal with it. Do your absolute best, and I always say, like, your best is always good enough. Doesn't matter where you come, doesn't matter how your actual performance is, as long as you give it your best, and generally speaking, if you give something your best, you will always surprise yourself. Your best is generally better than where you think you're at, as long as you train properly. I have. Morning, lads. I've missed this. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> the same as you. Same as you, mate. Yeah, give him a wrap. All right, so I do just wrap my feet up here, make sure they're looking good. During the last challenge, every single morning we would do this. Because I miss my feet. We've got names for each toe as well, but we won't tell you in camera. <laughs> Usually I charge for feet videos and pics, but today for free for you guys. It's on me, don't worry about it. For some runners, when, they, when you run, your toes tend to get squashed up. And as you're running, you tend to get this sort of micro frictioning, which over 70 Ks then becomes quite bad and you start to get a lot of calluses, you start to form a lot of blistering under your toes, which can be both uncomfortable, can stop your race, can affect the quality of your race. So we wrap the toes up here just to take the frictioning away from the skin, stop some calluses and have a happy race. Those yeah, three or just should I go? Nah, that should be stir. Big toes always been all right. Big toes been fine, yeah, we'll do, we'll do no, normal while we're. Thank you for uh, seeing us this morning, buddy. Nah, Appreciate yeah. it. Let's go. Near the start, getting the socks and shoes ready. Twin skins on. Don't get blisters with these bad boys. Honestly, if I get a fucking blister today, I'll be kill someone. Like toes are wrapped, should be no problems. But I haven't ran too much in these shoes before, which I know everyone says like you should wear the shoes you're about to race in a lot beforehand. But like they're not shoes aren't made out of leather these days. They ain't got breaking them. They're not like rugby boots or football boots. Feet should be pretty conditioned anyway, so I don't think it's an issue. But fuck it, who knows? One. Probably gonna be left side. A bar I'll have when I get back to see you. I need this chafing stuff right now. Phone I've got, thingy I've got, headphones I need. Any of sunglasses. In the top bit. All right, sweet. Let's go. So the race itself has got 400 meters of elevation. All of that is in the first six or seven K. So basically it's about pacing it properly. So not going out too hard that first section. Take it nice and easy then. As the race continues, it gets faster. We've got the downhill trail section and a flat trail section. And after that trail section, it's river towpath, then it's paved towpath. The conditions get better as the race goes on. So hopefully, plan of action is, as my coach said, negative split this race. I'm not going out too fast and see when we've got in the tank last 20k. <laughs> okay, it's not boiling hot. Yeah, yeah, it's not messing with rain. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm all right with that. I'll take, I'll take a little bit chilly. Some of you've done this before. By the way, it's going to be hard today. 70k is no joke. When it gets hard, that is why you are here. Remember that. It's not easy. If it was easy, everyone out here in the world would be doing this today. It's not. There's a few hundred people doing this because they've chosen to do something that's difficult today. So remember that when it gets hard, when you start hurting, remind yourself that is exactly why you are here, to push through that. Have a little smile to yourself when it starts to hurt and remind yourself this is exactly why I'm fucking here today, all right? Yeah. 
Feeling good? Very yeah, good. right, let's so, fucking do this, guys, all right? Love that. I can confirm they'll love it. All right, 12.5k in checkpoint number one. It's muddy out there. It's like running through an absolute bog. But back on the road. It was gas up to us here now, so quick changeover, a few more gels, and get on the road. I'm too slow to be winning this race, so I've got to make the most when it comes to A stations. Do them fast. Do it. Let's go. Yeah, as soon as we got those, as soon as the feet got soaking, it was just so hard to keep pace. So I'm looking forward, I'm just gonna hold it as I am now and wait till we get to the airfield and just change out for the roads and dry my feet properly. For now, I'm just gonna get through this and work it. Let's get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. How do the guys get on, all right? Magic rub. <laughs> That's fuck all, but magic rub feels good. Careful you don't see the finger. What? <laughs> A station two, last section was fully muddy. It was like knee high water going along, so the feet are a bit heavy now. Making good time. Two hours 45 in, got just over a marathon to go. So you pace these things. I've run marathons before, I know how far that is. It means I can run this. But yeah, it's great to get out of here in the countryside, onto the towpath, shoe change, we'll get it. Have a great run. You too, all right, take care. Thank you. You too. Let's go. Right. Oh, mate. Oh, shocker. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Hammy's absolutely cooked. Trail shoes have gotten so heavy. It's so much extra weight on the hamstrings. It's caused me an absolute nightmare. This last few K has been a right shitter, but I'm gonna dry the shoes, change the socks because they're soaking wet and put on something a bit faster. I might go for the ons for a bit and then save the next checkpoint for the endorphins just to pace myself at the end. I think ons will be good. Nice wider shoe, nice and light. I run them all the time. They'll feel good. Yeah, and I change shoes out and go for the ons. See you in a bit. 17 left to go. Find our pace again. Had a little bit. Yeah, back in our stride. Had a little bit of struggle a bit earlier. Hammies causing all sorts of problems. Time to fuck off. Had a few gels. Got into a rhythm. Kind of works. Right. Gonna take another tailwind. Got my pace back again. Move the legs nicely now. Now it just stays flat. Like those undulating bridges. Crossing the river constantly. Thankfully it's consistent ground which is making life a lot easier on the ones and twos but for getting there still got 18k to go until we finish 18k still 18k don't matter who you are still a long way to run it's not over yet but things are getting a bit easier yeah. well It's in there. It's in the bag. Oh, no. Outside. Hard. 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 Really hard. Did it? There you go. So I've done a lot harder than that. Thank you, man. The distance, I've done that a lot. It was the fucking mud at the start. It was trying to get through all that. And then carrying the weight in your shoes, like just slopping up those hills was just different. That was hard. Getting 30k and I was like, oh no. Like, it's my first uh, three, three hours, I was at 30k. I was like, yeah, no, this is fun. I was like, Fucking here we go, oh, sub seven, oh, come on. And I was like, and then we get off the fields on the tow bar, I was like, yeah, it was it. Just everything different. There, job well done. done. See you, mate. Hey, son. Good to see you, mate. Oh, thank you, man. Good to see you, dude. Central London, 70k later, we are here near Paddington Station. That was tough. I've ran 70k a lot of times. That was the toughest 70k I've ever ran. The mud at the start, weighing the shoes down, my hamstrings have been pieces. I thought the last 40k on the tow bar was going to be easy. It wasn't, it was hard. But that's a part of the challenge, guys. That's what it's about, is doing something that's hard, doing something that challenges you. It's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, you would all be out here doing it. It's supposed to make you question yourself. It's supposed to make you doubt why you're out here. It's supposed to make you question fucking everything, and then you go and do it anyway. I'm gonna get a beer. Like, we're running all day. My best friend's come back from Australia. Here we go. And a sandwich. <laughs> Cheers, Dad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>